I'm Jim Neubauer, and this is your Safety Moment. We're up to part 11 of the Safety Data Sheet Explained series. Section 11 is a mandatory section according to OSHA 29 CFR 1910.1200 Appendix D. In this section, we'll discuss toxicological information. One of the most important pieces of information on an SDS is explaining the health effects of a chemical on exposed employees. In this section, the manufacturer lists health effects, how fast they may occur, routes of entry, targeted organs, and that the chemical is a known cancer-causing agent. A lot of information to cover in this safety moment. Let's start with line one. Information on the likely routes of exposure, whether it's inhalation, ingestion, skin, or eye contact. In short, how does it get in you? Breathing, cuts in the skin, absorbed through pores, eyes, or do you need to ingest it through your mouth? The next line, symptoms related to physical, chemical, and toxicological characteristics. Symptoms are the reactions to chemicals, and in some cases are ignored by exposed employees. It is important to know what these symptoms are to get care quicker. Delayed and immediate effects, and also chronic effects, from short and long-term exposures. There are two types of effects, acute and chronic. Acute means the effect occurs quickly. Chronic may take decades to occur. Numerical measures of toxicity, such as acute toxicity estimates. This is a tough one to explain, folks. If I were to take 100 test subjects and expose them to a chemical and 50 of them die, then the toxicity rate would be lethal dose or LD 50 because 50% 50 of the exposed group died. I will note that dose is a specific amount of a chemical where in some applications, it might be something that's available in the atmosphere and we don't know what the exact concentration is or dose is, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna use a different term called lethal concentration. Now lethal concentration means what's available in the atmosphere. Take the same test, 100 test subjects in an environment, 50 of them die. That means I have a lethal concentration of 50%, otherwise known as an LC50. Whether the chemical hazard is listed on the National Toxicological Program or NTP report on uh, carcinogens is what the last line in this section covers. If it's a known carcinogen and it's in the database, it will be listed here. That does not mean that you can't use the chemical, but that does mean they have to inform you, the end user, who are exposed to using this chemical. Call Exceed Safety for more information or to schedule your hazard communication training class today. Exceed Safety and Tim Neubauer are restricted by a non-compete in some geographic areas and clients until May 4th of 2023. Please call for more information I'm Tim Neubauer, and this has been your Safety Moment. Exceed Safety, the consulting you need. Exceed Safety, expectations exceeded. So call 919-728-SAFE.